58 days to try and change things. But nothing will work as long as that thing is still on. Young lady, I'm going to assume that your knowledge of tachyonic fusion is a little sketchy. Shutting it down is impossible. There is no off. I'm telling you what it's doing. Why don't you care? Because he's the one that's doing it. Right? Let's imagine. If you glimpsed the future and were frightened by what you saw, what would you do with that information? You would go to who, politicians, captains of industry. And how would you convince them? With data, facts. Good luck. The only facts they won't challenge are the ones that keep the wheels greased and the dollars rolling in. But what if, what if there was a way of skipping the middleman and putting the critical news directly into everyone's head? The probability of widespread annihilation kept going up. The only way to stop it was to show it, and to scare people straight. Because what reasonable human being wouldn't be galvanized by the potential destruction of everything they've ever known or loved? To save civilization, I would show its collapse. But how do you think this vision was received? How do you think people responded to the prospect of imminent doom? They gobbled it up like a chocolate eclair. They didn't fear their demise, they repackaged it. It can be enjoyed as video games, as TV shows, books, movies, the entire world wholeheartedly embraced the apocalypse and sprinted towards it with gleeful abandon. Meanwhile, your earth was crumbling all around you. You've got simultaneous epidemics of obesity and starvation. Explain that one. Bees and butterflies start to disappear. The glaciers melt, algae blooms all around you. The coal mine canaries are dropping dead and you won't take the hint. In every moment, there is the possibility of a better future. But you people won't believe it. You won't believe it. And because you won't believe it, you won't do what is necessary to make it a reality. So you dwell on this sort of terrible future and you resign yourselves to it. For one reason, because that future doesn't ask anything of you today. So, yes, we saw the iceberg, we warned the Titanic. But you all just steered for it anyway, full steam ahead. Why? Because you want to sink. You gave up. And it's not the monitor's fault. That's yours. Put them through. Thanks for visiting, Frank. It's genuinely nice to see you again. What are you doing? Not giving up.